I grew up in um, Singapore with familiar headlines like this. We have the best airport in the world. We, we are the cleanest city. Uh, we have, oh, we, we've now, we're now known as the wealthiest nation uh, in, in the world. And did you know that Orchard Road is ranked number one shopping avenue in the world as well? Um, but Singapore is also known for some other things. Uh, some other things that at least I can, I can, I can deal with. Um, uh, we are the first uh, country that banned uh, chewing gum. <laughs> um, and uh, we are also home to the fastest walker in the world, right? And I believe we are really a unique species because I think we are the rare few people on earth that could possibly swear in four languages in a go. I'm not going to do a demonstration here because this is recorded. So uh, if you see me in a break, I can demonstrate to you in various languages. <laughs> but somewhere along last year, um, around November, December, the, the Singapore I knew of became relatively unfamiliar. The Singapore that I was proud of became like a total stranger to me. It all started with this. I'm sure you've seen this article floating around. Um, it, it, it says, I, I must read, I must read for us, it says, uh, it says um, Singapore ranks as the least emotional country in the world. That's what Gallup's claim, and they only interviewed like 1,000 people. Um, so what happened? What really happened to, to, to us, Singaporeans? When, when I read that, the, the headlines sensationalized across all major news, um, newspapers, and then, of course, when the, the local uh, newspaper uh, actually covered it, there were more conversations about it. And it was like the end of the world for me, because I'm a very passionate Singaporean. Never mind the Mayan predictions didn't happen, but it really was the end of the world for me. <laughs> I thought, what happened? Have we lost our soul? Have we, have we lost our sense of humour? I, I, I don't think so. When, whenever there is a flood or ponding, or for, for that matter, you see how Singaporeans are so creative and they come up with like little pictures like Nygag and all that, and it goes around. And we actually can take a step back and laugh at ourselves. Have we lost our sense of being? Have we become so angry? I, I, I don't think so. Not in my neighbourhood, definitely. I stay in Marine Parade. Not in the coffee shop where I go daily for my kopio. Definitely not within the corridors of the place that I stay right now. And definitely not within my circle of friends and community and workplace. Then, then I, I thought to myself, Singaporeans are an emotional bunch. Let me tell you how. Believe me, if any country outside today were to state a claim that chili crab is their national dish, I tell you, there will be an uprising like you've never seen before, <laughs> regardless of race, language or religion, Singaporeans will unite behind our food. <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, there could be chicken rice and, you know, bakute or the, the other signature dishes. Um, then I started talking uh, to, to my friends, to my colleagues, to my friends during lunchtime, coffee, coffee session. What happened? What, what, why is it that you know, uh, we've gone to a stage of withdrawal? And, and are there people uh, around our midst that we believe who exhibit a different kind of, of Singaporean that is being uh, uh, discussed internationally? Through, through this conversation, it's, it, it's obvious, it's very obvious that at least one person you know, from the conversation, we could actually extract them. There are people from within our community, our, our friends, our Facebook, Facebook page, uh, Facebook uh, friend list, that, that does something that is happy. They have the capacity to do something for people, they have um, uh, special interests, and they are hopeful of the future, and they are proud Singaporeans. And then very naturally, as advertising professionals, we arrive at the idea, and then we said, you know, in this conversation that the four of us had, we, we cited two people from our friend list. Why don't we approach them and we, do, we get permission to, give us, um, to, to let, that, let us into their lives and we do a little storytelling 
and we extract the story out. And these are day-to-day -day Singaporeans. And that was the birth of Singaporean of the day. Our ambition was to actually draw out the happy from day-to-day -day Singaporeans who are not personalities. These are people whom you'll never, never be able to know. But these are people who, are, who, leaves, who lead an authentic life. And we came across um, this lady. Her name is Auntie Mary. She is 75 years old, young. She's an active volunteer, all right? At 75 years old, all right, she, she visits, um, um, she, she volunteers at Good Life Centre, and she visits the um, elderly who lives alone in her neighbourhood. Together with her friend, they form a group called the Marine Parade Angels, <laughs> right? They listen, they listen to what's happening on the ground, um, they, they, they attend uh, to the needs of them, and she helps them to exercise. She helps them, she operates a massage chair in the volunteer centre. At 75, the Auntie Mary has passed out twice while doing volunteering work. But that did not stop her. She now wears a heart pacer, and she still continues doing volunteering work because she believes that people need people, and that's a personal motto. And she believes that it is better to give than to receive. And such is an important lesson that we, um, we, we, we got when we film her. Something that we know from her past to enable us to take it to the future. Perhaps this is the one of the single reasons why we are doing this. After we, we walked away from, uh, from the interview session, um, we felt very inspired and we wanted to draw out more people like Auntie Mary. And of course, when we when, when this, was, this was the second video that we did, when, when, we, when we started um, editing the videos in between lunchtime, weekends, and you know, on top of our job, um, my, my, my fellow colleagues, the, the team members who, who are part of the Singaporean of the day, it started telling me, Jeff, uh, this takes a lot of time, you know, maybe it should be Singaporean of the every other day. <laughs> uh, Singaporean of the week. <laughs> or maybe Singaporean of the month. So I said, no, let's give you a Singaporean of the day because it sounds nicer. <laughs> we wanted to draw out more passionate Singaporeans who are uh, interested in preserving culture uh, through an ideas empire. Singaporeans who have the propensity to care not only for the environment, but for animals. Singaporeans, like you saw earlier on, beyond law, who equate success not against the measure of society's Standards. He defined what happiness is. And talented Singaporeans who does things for a purpose. Joanne Poon, the video you saw earlier on, um, was one of the latest videos that we featured. A brave mother who fought the battle of cancer with a three-year-old then, with a story, a story that was written on full scat paper. But the real story behind this video that we didn't um, show it's actually the Singaporeans who came on board, the Singaporeans who came on board to help, to journey with her, to translate that full scat paper into illustration, and from illustration into publication, and from publication to distribution around the world. Did you know that the book is now available at places like, you know, these, some, some, of the, some of the names of the country I, I can't even pronounce, and it's, it's almost like you, know, you only see the names on the sash in Miss Universe. <laughs> So you have places like Mozambique, uh, Malawi, uh, uh, Cameroon, Colombia, Jakarta, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Korea. Um, and just, just yesterday, in fact, just last night on Facebook, someone came on board to translate this book in Chinese. And through Facebook and people are just liking uh, this video, they are taking this translation into China and to, to, to go to a publisher and say, could you help us publish this so that the, the, the caregiver and the cancer patient can actually have access to this book? And this came from Singapore. So we continue to want to be able to build upon um, this idea. And a lot of people ask us, what makes a Singaporean of the day? What makes a Singaporean of the day to be featured here? I mean, for us, we spend a lot of time curating. Um, the people that we want to feature. 
Um, it is because we, 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 we spend a lot of time talking to them, build friendships, to ensure that these are people who lead authentic life. Because authenticity is the key to these stories, these sets of stories. Because only when you truly lead the life, you can share your story passionately. All the videos that you've seen in our collection, I, I, will not, um, I, I do not sh uh, share with them um, the questions that are asked them. It's just a, a time of conversation. There's no, uh, there's, it's just edited. Um, they, they do not have a script. So it is as good as seeing, their, seeing them live. Um, so this is us, uh, the team behind the Singaporean of the day. Uh, so that's Si Ping, that's Hebert, that's me, and that's Jasmine. The gentleman uh, in the middle, um, I'm sure you would know him if, you, if I mentioned this. He is a great-grandson of the late uh, Chu Ju Chet. Okay? The road named Ju Chet was named after his great-grandfather. Right? We've learned many lessons from the Singaporeans of the day. Um, nothing beats hearing these stories live. And what we want to do is to be able to capture this experience live as it is. And of course, we have a dream. Our dream is to, to hope that you know, fellow Singaporeans can actually join us and participate in this, this really open source. That you come, come on board with us, and we will hope that we can, you know, just four person, we can't do as, that many stories, but we want to be able to expand this out, this platform out. And one final dream is that we hope that the, the guys that we feature, the fellow Singaporeans that we feature in this platform, will one day be able to stand in front of the National Day Parade to take the pledge. Thank you.